Los Angeles International Airport, it's about to go down. So we have these Gracie garages all over the world opening up. People open up their homes, let other people come train there for free to help spread the word. In appreciation of their efforts, uh, we offer several benefits to Gracie garage leaders. Um, one of which, I guess the most highly coveted, is the opportunity for a free surprise seminar with my brothers or myself at your house, um, completely unannounced. So I'm headed on a flight right now to Arizona, where I'm gonna do the first ever Gracie Garage Surprise Seminar in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, they have no idea I'm coming. The goal is to keep it completely undetected, under the radar 100%, and uh, see if we can make this happen. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I have my gi, my black belt, that's all I need right now. I'm headed over there. Now, there's also another garage uh, in a neighboring city in Surprise, Arizona, and if all goes well, if you can keep it covert, I might show up there as well. So let's see how it goes, and uh, hopefully we can kill two birds with one choke. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we just finished breakfast and I'm ready. We're gonna shoot in on the Agora Gracie Garage in Gilbert, Arizona. The garage leader's name is Kyle Reich and uh, hopefully him and the rest of the garage members will let us in when we get there. Um, I'm here with Chris, the Arizona Connection Bailey. Give me the camera right here. What's up, Chris? Hey, glad to be here. It's gonna be fun today. Chris is the certified instructor here in Arizona. Look how real he keeps it. Look at Chris's license plate. Yo, so we're about to pull up right now. They're in the garage about to train. We're pulling up right now. They're gonna know I'm coming. I'm gonna park right here. We're gonna shoot in super secretive and see if they accept the Gracie Challenge. Stay low, stay low. Let's go. Is that the Gracie Challenge here or what? Holy oh, crap! Holy crap! Holy crap. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, What's up, doing? Yes, sir. How is it? How's it going, man? Good. Chilling, man. Wow. You guys ready or what? Oh, oh my god. That's yes. insane. <laughs> Let's do it. Wow. Yeah. Three against one? Okay. Right. <laughs> what was it? 33 against one? <laughs> yes. You need to fight over here very nicely. There is a risk that his knee shoots in your arm knee. Yes. Yes, because now the, all the elbow state work is useless. Forward, and just gluing the hips. So even my hips weren't as low as I would like them during the spin. But look where I'm at right now. I'm glued. I'm Cody Nunez. I'm Kyle Rich. Mike Kotzbach. Joe Rich. We're here at the Agora Garage in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Chris Bailey from the Payson Garage, who already has his blue belt, offered to come by and help us out. We're getting close to test for the blue belt, kind of reviewing some videos and getting all the details down, so he offered to come by and help us out, which is great, because he was going to be in town looking to uh, open up a school around here. So uh, a couple weeks ago, he had to bail. Um, didn't know why he had to bail, but he ended up bailing. And then today, they ended up coming by, but on top of Chris Bailey coming by, Henry Gracie stopped by by surprise. So we were all down here stretching, getting ready to roll and practice our stuff and waiting for Chris Bailey. And then we hear Henry Gracie's voice say, you guys ready to roll? And so, you accept the Gracie Challenge? <laughs> yeah. So, and obviously took us by surprise, so that was a great, great thing coming for us. So we got to roll with Henry and Chris Bailey and go through some moves. Um, we started out going through some problem areas we had, the triangle, the elbow escape. And then after we went through all that stuff and kind of got everybody on the same page, then we did a run through with Henry of kind of like an on-the-fly blue belt qualification drill to see how we were doing. Um, from that, we learned a lot of details. We we're missing a lot of small stuff we've got to get down before we can test. Probably at least three months away for the for some of us. Unbelievable, though, when we see uh, Henner show up in the garage. It's pretty sweet. Pleasant surprise. I thought I was in a movie. I was just walking out there. just got changed. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> some big dude there standing there. One guy's got a camera. And they're like, we know combatives. <laughs> so on top of getting blue belt help, we got Henner Gracie help. It was, a, it was a great day. It was a good time. It was awesome. Uh, one big critical detail I was missing, too, is I got to be the lucky one who got to go through the mock blue belt qualification drill with Henner, and every time I got up, I did it wrong. Freeze! <laughs> Did you guys see that right there? <laughs> what? I didn't do the stand up. I didn't, didn't get up in base. Now, let's talk about this for a second while we're here. While we're here. Sorry, I didn't mean to shock you like that. <laughs> Here's the deal of all blue belt tests submitted, more accumulated points have been deducted for not standing up in base than every other mistake in the whole test. Every time you get up wrong during the test, you deduct a point. And guys normally get up like five, six, seven yeah. times. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Here's the rule. If your butt is on the ground and you get up wrong, boom. 
point deduction. Okay? So if you're sitting down at any point during the test and you stand up before or after the time limit while you're just talking to the camera, I don't care. If you're sitting down and you get up wrong, you're out. Why? Because this has to be developed as a reflex yeah. for life. So huge detail, every time you get up, if you're rolling, if you're not rolling, if you're making dinner, if you're getting up from watching TV, get up in base, because he will come to your house and knock you down. <laughs> Mission accomplished, we did it. We shot in 100% undetected. Now, here's the essential detail. We're already in Arizona, and there's another Gracie Garage nearby located in Surprise, Arizona. It's called Surprise Gracie Garage, and he's in for the biggest surprise of his life. The garage leader's name is Brian Walls, and uh, man, we're going to see if we can shoot in tomorrow morning, 100% under the radar. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. So here we are, day two, surprise seminar, Gracie Garage, Brian Walls, surprise Arizona. I'm going to park. He lives right around this corner right here. Follow me. Let's go. we got to stay super low this time. garage here with my brother Zach and my wife Jessica and my new baby Kaylin. Uh, we've had the garage for a couple months now and we've gotten a couple new people uh, through the Gracie University website and through Facebook also and all of a sudden Henry Gracie comes walking through the door out of nowhere. I hear the, I hear the door open. I see this six foot eight dude sitting in my kitchen I didn't know what to do but I knew right away it was Henry Gracie. I've watched so many videos so it was a really good deal and uh, we just started training right away, got our whole family, went through all the techniques, spent a good couple hours, um, pointed out some things that I need to work on for my blue belt qualification videos. I'm totally unexpected. I mean, you just like, you just walked in and... Fire stick. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea. It took me like a split second to realize who it was. Everyone's seen the videos of the Gracie brothers sitting there and we're going to visit a Gracie garage once every six months and you think, okay, that might be possible, but... Are they really going to barge into my house and surprise me? Well, they barge into my house and they surprise me. And I live out in Surprise, Arizona, which is out in the middle of nowhere. Farm town. And next thing I know, Henry's barging through the doors, asking me if I want to accept the Gracie Challenge. And I didn't say no, obviously. Um, so we trained. And uh, yeah, like I said before, if you have a Gracie garage, be ready. Two days in Arizona, two surprise seminars at two different Gracie garages, two missions accomplished. Two birds, one choke. If you were one of those people who thought we wouldn't actually show up for these surprise seminars, now you know. Open a Gracie garage, help us spread the word, and I will shoot in on your family. Back to headquarters.